Hi, this is the place you can see um, when I'm normally doing my indigo dye at home, which is my backyard. And this the this old star scarf here is already halfway done, and I just wash that once. Later on, I it, it will be followed by another process to dye a second time, and this is the textile when I was tying ahead and now we are going to put it into the liquid the the tank you can see here is my personal own household indigo tank this is I think a personally will be around 60 60 liters a thick indigo tank and this part is ages I think it's around 60 years old older than me of course and uh, it's very well preserved the indigo in there because no matter the weather or the temperature it can preserve your indigo very good quality and before before we put our 100% silk scarf into the liquid you have to know the liquid is alkaline liquid so this scarf because it's a hundred percent silk is from the portent is from the animal the inside so when the texture is so fragile you can't put it into the acrylic liquid for a long time the, um, compared to the linen or the wood because when you die in the wood texture you can put it in your liquid maximum around 15 that will be fine 15 minutes that will be fine but for this kind of quality the portent you can't put it in into the liquid too long. I think, as my experience, maximum don't put it into the tank into the liquid more than five minutes. For today, the first time, first time I will put it into the tank into the liquid for about three minutes, and we will see how it going. Okay, so you put it into a liquid, and you have to squeeze it massage it and keep on this motion for three minutes make sure your movement is under the water under the liquid and make sure you're weighing your gloves don't use it in your bare hand otherwise your skin will crack after you're doing this As you can see, the indigo liquid is a thick one because I use I use the thick liquid. Don't I don't use the the light liquid because when sometimes you dye in the texture, you dye in the textile in the dark color, it will be easier to create. Otherwise, you have to dye many 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 times and you have to wash it many times. And I think my glove is already broken. I feel the liquid in my fingers around all my hands. We'll check it out later. Squeeze it evenly. Make sure you massage it every part of it because the creases and you have to let the liquid suck into every part of it but don't bend it like this don't bend it like this you have to just squeeze it massage it but don't bend it Okay, the first three minutes is up. We squeeze out the extra liquid into the tank. Then we move to 
the places where we can see the sunshine and to make your textile. You can see the color changing in front of you. It's a quite magical thing because when the textile you take out from the tank, you will see the bright green color and it will transform it into blue in front of your eyes. I think this is the fun places people get fascinated of the indigo dye because you can create your own your own work and some houses sometimes you may not really satisfied but you were you were always a surprise at how it becomes afterward and when you let it dry let it color changing under the sun you can see between the creases the color is different like you can see here we can see the dark green and don't worry about the green color because all the green will finally turn to a blue okay and when the old green gone all the green turns to blue we can dye in the second times the time will be th five um three minutes two minutes and the two times of one minute and you are done of this Okay, and let me check out my glove. I think my glove of the left hand is already broken. You can see. Okay, I'll come back later. I'll get another new one.